How's it going everyone on 100% Chelsea YouTube channel? Uh, my name is Josh, I'm a Brighton fan and ahead of the game on Sunday I'm going to be giving you guys a rundown on the Brighton kind of preview side of the things ahead of the game against Chelsea at the Amex Stadium. It's going to be a massive test for us, especially losing to Burnley away last week and we're going into the Chelsea game on Sunday. It's a massive game and it's a, it's a game where I'm not really sure how it's going to go in terms of our perspective because we could pull, pull off an absolute masterclass of a performance and beat you. Like uh, It's not me being cocky or anything like that. But on our day at home, we can beat anyone. I'm not saying Chelsea are on the same level as Man United now, because even for me being a Brighton fan, I'm even going to say that Man United are having a massive down curve and are not on Chelsea, Arsenal, or like Liverpool's or Man City's level anymore. However, with our performance against Man United at the start of the season, our first big top four, top, four, top six team we've played, we we played them out of the park and beat them 3-2. So if we played a performance in the same kind of, kind of team in that kind of game, then I feel like we could get a draw, at maybe a draw, maybe something something out of the game at least. But it will be a massive ask and it will be a massive test with your midfield being one of the best midfields in the world. It's going to be an incredibly difficult task to break that midfield down and then break down the defence, especially with someone like Glenn Murray up top, it will be difficult for him to break down the defence. Uh, however, with our creative midfielders and creative wingers out on the wings, it could could, could cause a bit of danger with you lot, with defending them, them guys. I'm not going to be deluded and say that yes, Brighton are going to beat you guys 2-1. We're going to get absolutely get the win here. I don't think it's going to happen and for me personally I feel like Chelsea will get the win however I feel like we'll put up a good fight for this game. Now if we're going to be talking about the lineup ahead of this game on the Brighton side I feel like it's not going to be that, that many changes for the team but let's just run through it anyway. In goal I feel like it's going to be Matty Ryan of course he's definitely going to keep his space in goal and as our back four it could change with the right back situation between Bruno and Montoya but for this one I'm going to be going for Bruno because Montoya seems to get lost he plays one game and then is like out somewhere out of squad for about a month so I'm not sure why I feel like the better option would be Montoya, however I feel like Bruno could take his place because to be honest, none of the Brian fans know where Montoya is, don't know what's really happened to him, so only Chris Hewitt and the guys in the backroom staff know where he is. So I think it could be Bruno at right back, then Dunk and Balogun as our centre back pairings and then I'm going to and then it's going to be Bernardo at left back. We've obviously, but you may hear about Balogun's in as a centre back. That's because Duffy is suspended for this game. He's picking up a free match suspension ahead because he got uh, a red card against Crystal Palace for a head. But um, I'm, I'm not. I'm, you know what? I'm actually quite happy that he did that. To be honest, you know, for once we give it some, something to the Palace lot. Thank you, Duffy. Now, with our midfield, it could change in the centre mid roles because obviously Basuma, he's an absolute bowler. He's been putting up some top quality performances, and I think like the past three games has had man of the match for us. So, for me personally, I feel like he will be dropped to the bench for this game only for the defensive abilities Dale Stevens does bring to the team. And I feel like this is what we're going to go for. We're probably going to sit back and go for a draw this game. So, as my centre mid pairings, as I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be Dale Stevens, and I think it's going to be Davy Proper in the middle. And on out on the wings, it's going to be Is Correct and knockout, or they could swap Iscaredo for Sonny March because Sonny March has been an absolutely terrific player and I think he's actually started every single game so actually I'm going to change that to a knockout and Sonny March as our wingers for this game. A kind of centre forward position is obviously going to be Pascal Gross, I mean he hasn't really made an instant impact for, from being back from injury however I feel like it's a home game and normally at home he does perform. Will it be the case in this game? I'm not too sure but his creativity in the middle hopefully all that will applies a bit of pressure to your back line and hopefully it sets Murray through up top or something uh, but that leads me on to the striker and it will be a difficult one to decide for the striker and Dona who is in cracking form away from home and obviously at home he's scored two, two in three games now uh, he's, I think he's only started about Two or two or three out of three or two out of three or something like that. So he, I feel like Andone will start for this game because he could stretch the the, the Chelsea defence and that's something Dead Murray can't do with his pace. However, with Murray's physical presence up top, and it could cause Chelsea a bit of problems. But I'm not too sure how what Christian will go with this this one. So it could be a Glenn Murray or it could be Andone up top. I'm not really sure. So I feel like it will be a four four one one formation, and um, I don't feel like there's going to be much change tactically. However, we were applying so much pressure against Man United, and that's what kind of got us to victory. Man United's top players in that game were like well, Paul, Paul Pogba. You got Matter in there. You got Lingard. You got Rashford. We kept all of them quiet, and I know this season it's not that hard to keep many Man United defenders and Man United players quiet. But that's what we were good at in that game, and that's what earned us the 3-2 victory at the Amex. My score prediction for this game is going to be a 2-0 Chelsea. I don't feel like we're going to be scoring this game, even though we have scored in every single Amex game so far this season. I don't think it's to be. Or if we were to get a goal, I think it would be a penalty if anything. With Chelsea having a midfield like Jorginho, you got Kante, you got all of these sort of players in midfield. Where you, as, as a team like Brighton, you're going to be absolutely terrified. To be up against them, and that's something I feel like we've got to go into this game with no fear. We, like something against Tottenham, which we did do, we, we just allowed them too much space, and, and we just we gave them the respect that 
I don't know, we just didn't give him too much respect and that's something I hope that we don't go into this game with the same respect we showed to Tottenham that we do to Chelsea in this game. So if we do not show you any respect, we put, like, put under pressure from early doors, it will be difficult to break down your, your play and all that etc. However, it will be a difficult game nevertheless, especially a top six side against a team like Brighton. I know we're a team who are progressing ever more and all that etc. And we're trying, try, trying to establish ourselves as a top top club in the Premier League to be honest and it's like, just an established club in general to be honest so hopefully that, that is to be in the future for Brighton and Hove Albion and I, I really do hope that we can pull off something good this Sunday will it happen I'm not too sure but with fixtures coming up like we've still got Arsenal at home to come up we've got Everton coming soon and we've got Bournemouth away coming soon so it's not really ideal for us in a minute luckily we picked up the points in the games where we were meant to get the points and hopefully against Chelsea we can put up a, a good fight that's, I, that's all I want I want a good fight with this, with this performance and I just want them to show their hearts out every single one of them players and hopefully we can do the job that day. The strengths in our system is something where I feel like our oh, Olga Nation is that key with Christian getting us well drilled in the back and that's something we're definitely really really solid at definitely at the back so hopefully our, our leadership and all that shows in that game and hopefully we can fight for every single one of them players on the pitch and hopefully hopefully we do get the job done that day and especially with our strong points if you want to elaborate that on a bit more I feel like our wingers are definitely a real threat when going forward. Someone like Is Corredo and Noko who can pull off so many skills, Basuma in the middle who can drive with the ball if he wants to, he's find a space, he's got the skill moves and honestly I feel like he's one of the most underrated players in our team and one of the under, un, one of the most underrated players I, I generally think in the Premier League to be honest and I think it really does remind me of like a Paul Pogba to be honest, I think Basuma is only about 21, 22 years old so he's got a massive potential and a massive future ahead of him and it's going to be an absolute class player and I can definitely see him playing for a top six side very very soon Some could say our weaknesses in the squad it can be from our full backs but with Bernardo replacing Bong recently it has been working out more with Bernardo replacing Bong in that position however on the right side with Bruno and Montoya I'm not too sure with that one but, but you know what we've got, we've got a great depth in the squad, we've got a great quality in the squad, so hopefully we can stop a team like Chelsea down. It will be difficult, especially with your midfield. Your midfield is absolutely class, but it'll be interesting to see who you start up top if you do go with a striker. Because I know in your recent game against Man City that you didn't play any strikers that game, which kind of worries me in some sort of sense because you beat Man City, one of the best teams in Europe, and now you're coming down to the Amex, and hopefully. Um, we don't get spanked 4-0 again. That's another thing because last season we put up a really good fight against you guys and you know we may have lost 4-0 but we didn't sit back, we actually went for it. Even at 2-0, 3-0 we still went for it and I think at the end of the day we had tired legs Victor Moses got the fourth goal, I believe it was, and it was just a, a job done for you guys with, four, with a 4 0 win. But I was actually going out there saying, I'm quite happy with the fight we did show in that in that performance. And you know, that form, we just tried a new formation in that in that in that game, and it did work well, to be honest. And I know I know I'm saying that, and we lost 4 0 but. I'd rather lose 4-0 and go for it than lose 1-0 and, and just sit back the whole game, to be honest. So that's it from me for my match preview for Brian. My prediction, I've said, is a 2-0 Chelsea. I don't see us getting anything from this game. However, if we do, it'll be an absolute bonus. But that's it from me, guys. Go subscribe to my channel. It's Fusion HD. I'm literally just hit 10,000 subscribers. So make sure to go leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, lads.